All right, now whenever you are watching a YouTube video, if at all you want to fast forward or rewind the video to get to a specific point, you usually double tap on the screen to fast forward or rewind the video. Now, what if I told you there is a hidden film strip right there on the screen? As you can see here, I'm watching this video. Now I will just press and hold on this red dot on this video seek bar and swipe up to open this hidden film strip. Now here you can just swipe across this film strip to get to a specific point. You don't have to double press on the screen to fast forward or rewind, which is annoying sometimes, but using this hidden film strip on YouTube application is just fantastic. You let me know whether you already knew about this particular feature on YouTube application. Let's move to the next step. This is again about the fast forwarding and rewinding the video. Another way to do this is just press and hold on the screen and you can just swipe towards the right or towards the left to seek the video. And that is much, much easier than double tapping and fast forwarding or rewinding the video. Now let's move to the third one. While you're watching a video on YouTube to open it in full screen, you don't really have to tap on the video and then tap on this expansion button. All you need to do is swipe up on the screen to make it full screen and swipe down to get back to the same position. Now, let's say you want to loop the video while you're watching it. You want to watch that video continuously again and again. You need to enable a toggle called loop video. Let me show you where exactly this settings is. Let me play a video here. Now here on the top, we get to see this settings icon. Let me tap on this. You see, we have got a bunch of options here. Now here we have got an option called loop video. You can just tap on this to turn it on. And if you don't want it, you can easily come back here and turn it off. This is another cool feature we have got if you want to loop it and watch it multiple times. Let's move to the next step. Let's say you want to go incognito on YouTube. It is possible exactly like how you do it on the internet browser or Chrome or any other browser. You can go incognito on YouTube as well so that your watch history is never stored on the YouTube app. To go to incognito mode, just tap on the profile icon on the top right. Here you will see turn on incognito. When you turn this on we have an important notification here it says when you turn off incognito or become inactive your activity from this session will be cleared and you will return to the account last used your activity might still be visible to your employer school or internet service provider so if you're doing this in your office network or in the school be careful they'll still be able to see your activity so be wary of that that is incognito mode on YouTube now let's say whenever you want to fast forward or rewind the video you prefer double tap option on the screen you can customize the seek time and decrease it or increase it instead of using the default 10 seconds to do this you need to go to the profile and tap on settings now here tap on general as you can see we have got an option here double tap to seek when you tap on this you get multiple options here 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 20 30 and 60 seconds depending on your preference you can select the double tap to seek duration now let's say you are someone who prefer to watch the videos on full screen mode using the entire screen real estate, then generally what you do is you'll open the video in full screen mode and zoom in to fit the video into the entire screen. Instead of doing this manually every time, what you can do is you can open profile and go to settings, tap on general. Now here we have got a toggle called zoom to fill screen. Always zoom so that videos fill the screen in full screen. When you enable this toggle, whenever you open the video in landscape mode, the content will fill the entire screen without you having to do anything. That is just fantastic. And if you just want to go back to the original screen ratio of that particular video, you can just zoom out by pinching the screen. You will be able to see the original ratio. This is a cool feature which we should start using. Now let's move to the next step. When we tap on subscription, we get to see all the subscribers right on the top here. When you tap on all, you will see the entire list right here. And if you want to sort this, We've got an option here on the top left, just tap on this. You can see we've got most relevant, new activity, alphabetical order. So we can select the one we want. By default, we've got most relevant. If you want to prioritize the channel which has recently done an activity, let's say recently posted a video or a post, you can select new activity option so that you see those channels which has done the latest activities. Now, if you're someone who is hooked on to YouTube all the time, continuously watching shorts and videos, and if you wanna stop doing that and take a break after watching YouTube for some time, then here is something called time watched option right on your profile. When you open that, you can see we have got this option called time watched. Let me tap on this. Now here, you'll be able to see the amount of time you have spent on YouTube 
and you also have tools to manage YouTube time. You got a couple of toggles here as you can see remind me to take a break when you turn this on it will ask you to set the frequency of the reminder you can select the number of hours and minutes to get a reminder that you need to take a break from YouTube and we also have a reminder which will go off when it's bedtime. You can turn this on and set start and end time for this. So if you are someone who care about your eyes and your health then you should turn on these reminders so that you're not addicted to YouTube. These are some cool useful tips and tricks on YouTube application for you guys. Let me know what do you think about this. If there is any other additional tips that you want to share you can drop a comment and when you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel to become a part of Apex community. You will be able to know your phone better by subscribing to the channel. And yeah do hit that like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off. Cheers bye bye.